welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time welcome my name is fumi and on this channel i do sewing tutorials thrift flips and all of that so if you're really into sewing or you're really trying to get into it then you're definitely in the right place and you want to hit the subscribe button now this is the most unplanned tutorial like i've ever done but i just got back from work and i've had this fabric for a while it's a four-way stretch um plain fabric and i got it in orange as you can see so i've had this idea in my mind i'm going to show some pictures here for is where i got my inspiration and of course most of these pictures are from pinterest i really love like that whole contrast stitching thing with like having the stitches outside and now that i have an overlocking machine this is something that i've been wanting to try so i got this fabric and we're going to use black to do like the outline thing so it's basically just going to everywhere that you have the seams you're going to see like the black so i'm going to do an orange and black and i've always thought that orange and black and yellow and black are such beautiful color combination so i'm going to do that with this top because i just thought like i think i would like to wear this tomorrow so i don't know if i'm going to be able to finish it it's like 20 minutes past 7 pm right now and i'm kind of budgeting an hour i don't know let's see how long it take me to do this anyway um this i think is actually i would say this is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial because it's pretty basic the only thing is as long as you do have access to an over um as long as you have access to an overlocking machine then like you should be good i'm not a hundred percent sure if you can use like how well it would it would turn out if you use like your regular tabletop sewing machine and just do like the zigzag stitches it might it might work but i'm not like a hundred percent on that so if you do have an overlocking machine all you need for this tutorial is your fabric your stretchy fabric by the way because this is like a fitted top so your stretchy fabric your thread whatever color of thread you decide to go with i'm using black your thread your um overlocking machine scissors measuring tape tailor stroke and you're good to go so i have here i think 1.5 meters of no okay the, this is just a meter of this fabric so a yard or a yard and a half should be fine depending on what your size is or you know yeah so let's get into this video i've been talking so much so as with most things that you sew first thing that we've done is to fold over the fabric and as you can see here i am trying to make the most of my fabric so i measured and um for my upper body the widest circumference is my bust so using your widest horizontal measurements on your upper body where this top is going to be covering you're going to make sure that you have at the very least a quarter of that measurement as the width of your fabric when it's folded over here like this so the first thing i'm going to do is to come up here and measure my shoulder measurement divided by two and then i'm actually going to take out half an inch just because this is a really fitted top so i'm not really putting in any allowance or anything like that and the fabric is really really stretchy so always consider how stretchy your fabric is and how fitted you want your top to be so i'm just going to mark that down i tried to find a different color of chalk but this this was really the best that i could find so i'm just going to try my best to explain as clearly as possible because it's not even really showing up on the fabric so if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section so let's carry on so for the neck i think we would we should cut the the front and the back of the body spaces are basically the exact same thing other than the fact that the neck is deeper in the front so except you want to do you know depending on what you want the neck of yours to look like i'm just doing a regular round neck so the front of mine is deeper so i think i'm going to make this the front so i'm going to go for a three by three um circumference just very average So I marked that and I have my quarter circle right here. It's very faint, but you can kind of see it. Next up, I'm going to be measuring, I'm going to be taking out the, um, the one inch from up here. That's to make the slanted shoulder. So I just marked that. So we're going to connect that point to the neckline. Like that. And then from that point, we're going to mark our armhole. so now you have this um l shape right here and at that sharp corner you're just going to use your chalk to make a curve right there right now 
next thing you're going to do is to measure the length of your top and measure on this side where you have your where your armhole ends you're going to measure your bust divided by four without any sewing allowance i'm not putting in any sewing allowance at all so exactly my bust divided by four i'm going to mark that and i'm going to mark that all the way down and then i'm going to stop where the length of my top stops basically so yeah Now that I have that all marked up, I'm going to pin everything in place just to make sure it doesn't move around and then I'm going to cut it out. Here's what we have after cutting it out. It just kind of looks like a plain tank top which is what your body's piece always looks like anyway. So now I'm going to use this. To cut out the piece for the back and like i said the only difference is the neck so the neck of the back i'm going to just go one inch deep unlike the front where i went three inches deep and three inches wide so it's the same width but just a bit more shallow so i'm going to do that right away and then we would cut the sleeves and then we can finally get sewing so this is pretty easy and a pretty like quick beginner friendly tutorial honestly and there you have it at our, um, so this is our front and that's the back you can see the difference in the necklines and that's basically it so we're going to move on now to cutting the sleeves <sighs> all right so to start out with our sleeves i have my fabric folded over here and of course the first thing we're going to do is to come to our armhole here from the bodies and you're going to actually measure what you have here so i already measured mine keep that in mind or write that down somewhere and we're going to use it as we cut the sleeves now the first thing that i'm doing this part this part right here is the part that is going to connect to the armhole of our top so i'm going to come here and about at this end right here about 2.5 to 3 inches down i'm going to use 2.5 i think so about 2.5 inches down i'm going to just mark that like that and then i'm just going to freehand a curved line so it's going to come this way and sort of curve out like that and so there you have it so you have this sort of a curved line and now that measurement that you took of the armhole this is where you're going to use it so you're going to start from this point right here and you're going to take your tape and of course this is a curved line so you can't just go like this you actually have to curve your tape along that line and so you're going to mark where that measurement stops so if for example you have seven inches when you measured your armhole you're going to measure and wherever seven is you mark that and that is how wide this upper part of your armhole is going to be so now that i've marked that i'm going to measure the length of my sleeves i want these sleeves to be like actually like a bit too long for me realistically i just really want extra long sleeves so this is up to you completely up to you so i've marked the end of my sleeves it's just slightly off the frame right there and what i'm going to do is at the end at the base of my sleeve i'm going to measure like i'm going to mark half of my like cuff measurements because that's where like, that's around where the sleeve is going to stop so i'm going to mark that and then add maybe half an inch just because i don't want it to be too snug on my cuff and then somewhere around the middle i'm also going to make sure that i have at least half of my arm measurements at that point so 
other than that you're just going to be connecting this point to the end of your sleeves where you have that cuff measurement that you marked and that's basically it like when you're working with really stretchy fabric it's really really like you can really freehand and like freestyle a lot of things because it's stretchy so as long as like you get the basics down you would most likely be good to go so yeah so i do have like a faint outline of my sleeve so i'm going to pin everything down and cut it out right now And there you have it here's what our sleeve looks like hold on so like we did for the bodies i'm going to take this lay it on top of my fabric and basically duplicate it because both sleeves are exactly the same thing so i'm going to cut our second sleeve and then we can get straight on into sewing I'm so excited for this one after all of that cutting these are all of the pieces we have two body pieces two sleeve pieces and now we're going to get straight into sewing this whole thing together now um let me lay it let me lay it out and explain how this is going to go all right so we have our pieces laid out here i couldn't lay out the other sleeve because of space but i laid this one out for explanation purposes now my fabric doesn't have a wrong and right side but if your fabric does have that you want to take note of it now one major difference to note in this type of top that we're trying to achieve today is the fact that the raw edges, the raw stitches are being seen on the outside. So usually, if this was just a regular top, when I'm sewing, like sewing the shoulders and the sides closed, for example, when I lay my pieces together to sew them, I would make sure that my the right sides of my fabric are facing each other so i'm sewing on the wrong side of the fabric but because we intentionally want this this um the, the stitches to show on the outside of our top as a design choice you're actually going to lay your fabric with like the wrong sides facing each other and make sure that you are sewing on the outside of your top i hope that makes sense so now um i have my pieces laid out here like this First thing i'm going to do is to join the shoulders together so i'm going to lay them together remember wrong sides facing each other so that you're sewing on the right side of the fabric so the shoulders closed here and there and then spread it open like this and before going ahead to join the sides i'm actually going to join the sleeves to it first of all so i'm going to lay my sleeve like this pin it in place and then go ahead and sew all the way around to attach my sleeves to my armholes for both sleeves of course after doing this i'm going to take it close it up like a nicely done sandwich making sure that of course i'm sewing on the outside of my fabric that's the right side of my fabric because we want these stitches to show so i'm going to close it up and then come from all the way from the hem of my top or maybe the hem of your sleeve wherever you want to start from the hem of my top and i'm going to go up this way closing the sides and then come all the way down to the hem of my sleeves effectively closing the sleeve the the sides and the underarms of my top and at this point you basically have the construction of your top all done and all that will be left to do is to finish the hem and the neckline of course the hem of the sleeve and the hem of the top and then the neckline and i'm just going to do that by running my um sedger all around that and that's basically going to be it i was thinking about maybe doing a stitch straight down the center front just for like design purposes but i'm not too sure i guess i'll see how it looks when i'm done with what i just explained right now so let's get sewing so it took a while because i was struggling a bit with my serger but here's the top it's almost done i'm just going to go ahead and trim off all these like uh all the threads that are just hanging around but basically this is it and it's all done i'll do the threads and then i'll try it on so you can see it properly but i really really like it and this was quite fun it's it's almost 9 30 right now so it took me over two hours right is that math right yeah a little over two hours which i mean so i think this can be done in like an hour if you're not filming and you don't have like any technical issues with the sewing machine but yeah back to the top i really like it and it's just a really simple top but the added seams on the outside just give it a more 
the added seams on the outside just give it a more interesting look i think so i mean you either like it or you hate it honestly some people might not really like this because i don't know maybe it looks a bit rough not like all clean girl but i really love this and i already have outfit ideas for this so follow me on instagram if you want to see any of those and yeah let's see what the top looks like when i try it on 